You know those public recharging stations for electric cars? Well, they've started to pop up in spots around Rochester and local colleges. They're not going unused, at least not in Rochester. Wakisha Bailey tells us how we know that and what their popularity might mean for this area. With technology on the rise, we're not just stopping at laptop cell phones. We're taking it one step further electric cars. Drive into lot T at RAT and you'll see this. It looks like a little gas pump, but there's no gasoline here, only electricity. To Tom Trebold, an RAT sustainability teacher, that's even better. He drives roughly about 13 miles to work every day in an electric car. I can drive the entire distance on all electric charge, so it's very quiet very seamless. Tribble charges his vehicle in the evening and again when he gets to work. He says he has saved a significant amount of money driving his hybrid versus a traditional gas car. Because it has ample charge for me to get home and back, uh, as I said, I only fill up with gasoline about once every two months. Tribold, as it turns out, is not alone. A lot of folks are using these charging stations that are all around town. So many, in fact, the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, or NYSERDA, says Monroe County has the best usage rate in the entire state. To RIT Senior Sustainability Advisor, there's good reason for that. I think it has somewhat to do with our, our tech-friendly community. You know, that new technologies that come out, I think we're probably, as a community, early adopters. And I'd like to think that RIT and our population contributes to that culture. Expect to see more charging ports around soon. And given our demand so far, don't be surprised if you see a line. From the looks of things, electric cars are not a trend. They are here to stay. And RIT, Wakisha Bailey, News 8.